One of the problems for the Browns this year is they decided to come back with Hugh Jackson, a coach that had a 1-31 and record. Let's suppose John Dorsey was allowed to hire a new coach. And let's suppose that new coach had seven games exactly like the Browns have had so far. Two, four, and one. Four overtime games. They won one of the overtimes. They tied another one, and they lost two. Let's suppose when you looked at all the games they played, only once where they were blown out by the Chargers 38-14, to 14, only once was there a really stinker game for the Browns. I think people would be more patient instead of so angry. You could say, all right, you know, they, they, what they are, they're getting close. They're getting better. You could see improvement. The problem is Hugh Jackson is that coach, and all that's true, but he walks in with a 1-31 record. The problem for Hugh Jackson is that a lot of people, not just in Cleveland but around the NFL, couldn't believe he had survived a 1-31 start. The problem is Hugh Jackson came into this year with a lot of baggage behind him and on top of him, some his own doing. For example, I thought by the middle of last season he was spending way too much time criticizing the previous front office for not giving him players. And secondly, because a lot of those players were young and not ready to win. Nonetheless, it's unprecedented in NFL history that a guy that won only one game in two years was given a third season with a new general manager. So where am I going with this? I think when Hugh Jackson blew up after the Browns lost in overtime yet again to Tampa Bay and went on about wanting to infuse himself in the offense and clearly was taking at least some backhanded shots at offensive coordinator Todd Haley. That happened not only because the public sees Hugh with all this baggage, but that same baggage he's carrying around. He knows John Dorsey, the general manager, didn't hire him. He also knows John Dorsey has improved the roster. And he knows that what's been happening so far is, frankly, not good enough for him because there is no fresh start for Hugh Jackson. Yes, Jimmy Haslam, the owner, said, now we'll see the real Hugh Jackson. This is almost like Hugh's first year. Haslam said all that in a pre-season press conference. I was there. It was about as big a embrace of Hugh Jackson as anybody's going to give. And so you look at this, and I just think that right now, Hugh Jackson keeps insisting he isn't feeling the pressure. He obviously is feeling the pressure. And if I can see it, and I think a lot of fans can see it, the players can see it. And also, the new coaching staff that he brought in, Todd Haley and others, can hear it and can feel it and can see it. So this week, Hugh Jackson has to do more than just get ready to play the Pittsburgh Steelers. He actually has to heal a rift with his coaching staff. And I'll just leave this one final thought. After the game where Hugh Jackson talked about the state of the Browns offense, he said they start poorly. He's correct. They have only six points in the first quarter all year, two field goals. Seven first quarters, six points. Secondly, he says Baker Mayfield, quarterback's getting hit too much. He's correct. Mayfield's been sacked five times in each of the last two games. This is starting to get into Tim Couch territory, by the way. He said that the Browns have not been able to kind of get an identity going on offense. That's also correct. And if he had said those kind of things and then said, you know, we as a coaching staff all got to get together and work on this, we all would say, well, good, as opposed to, you know, I'm the head coach, which he said four times and all that. That's where Hugh lost it. Now, can he get it back? Because he does need these new coaches on the offensive side. Keep in mind Hugh Jackson has hired and fired 18 different coaches since he came to the Browns at the start of the 2016 season. Think about that. 18 different coaches. Well, Hugh, there's nobody to fire anymore. You've got to make it work with the guys you have. 